Hey what's up guys? In today's video we are listing the top 5 best motherboards in 2022. Through extensive research on Amazon products, we have put together a list of options that meet the needs of different types of buyers. On our channel from 1 to 5 we have got you covered. For more information check the box down and don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell, and now let's get started. The B550 chipset is what AMD launched to replace the aging B450 chipset. The noteworthy improvements are for Ryzen 3000 series processors, PCIe 4.0 for GPUs and SSDs, and dual GPU configurations. The SST UF Gaming B550 Plus is an excellent example with a B550 chipset, rocking some awesome features, you could easily install a Ryzen 9 5950X without issue, and it would run just fine. There's no room for overclocking since it's simply not designed for enthusiast liquid nitrogen-cooled rigs. Still, you can run an enthusiast-grade system on such a small, budget-friendly foundation, as well as supporting Ryzen 3000 and 5000 series processors, SS added in 2.5 gigabits LAN for rapid data transfers across your network, and the VRMs do have adequate cooling. This may be a more affordable motherboard, but you're still getting an 8 plus 2 power phase design, meaning it can handle more power-hungry CPUs and some overclocking. The B550 chipset is what AMD launched to replace the aging B450 chipset. The noteworthy improvements are for Ryzen 3000 series processors, PCIe 4.0 for GPUs and SSDs, and dual GPU configurations. The SST UF Gaming B550 Plus is an excellent example with a B550 chipset, rocking some awesome features, you could easily install a Ryzen 9 5950X without issue, and it would run just fine. There's no room for overclocking since it's simply not designed for enthusiast liquid nitrogen-cooled rigs. The Asus RAJ Strix X570 AMD AM4 socket, ready for AMD Ryzen 5000 series, 5000G series, 4000 G series, 3000 series, 3000 G series, 2000 series, and 2000 G series desktop processors, supports up to two M.2 drives and features USB 3.2 Gen 2 and AMD Store MI to maximize connectivity and speed. Optimal power solution, 12 plus 4 power stages with Procool 2 power connector, alloy chokes and durable capacitors to support multi-core processors, comprehensive cooling, passive chipset heatsink, VRM heatsink. With 8mm heat pipe, dual onboard M.2 heatsinks and a water pump header, high performance networking, 2.5 Gbps LAN and Intel Gigabit Ethernet with Asus LAN Guard, Wi Fi 6E, 802.11 AX, with MuMimo and Gateway teaming via Game First V, best gaming connectivity, supports PCIe 4.0, HDMI 2.0, and DisplayPort 1.2, and features dual M.2. USB 3.2 Type-A and USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C connectors. MSI MAG B660 The quality of Intel motherboards with its B-series chipsets have taken a genuine step forward since the introduction of the last Gen B560. Many of them now, like the MSI MAG B660 Tomahawk Wi-Fi DDR4 we're reviewing here, carry feature sets that would have been restricted to high-end boards just a couple of years ago, simple economics may have played as much of a part as anything else. Of course, there are still cheap and basic B660 boards that you wouldn't dream of pairing with an Intel Core i9-12900K, but given the steep cost of high-end Z690 boards, a gap has opened up in the in the lower mid-range that's now taken up by premium B660 boards and low-cost Z690 boards. The SS ROG Strix Z690, likewise, with our top SS AMD pick, the ROG Strix Z690 eGaming Wi-Fi motherboard is equally as good. You'll be receiving a PCB with the same high-end, premium components, as well as pretty much all the expansion you'll need for a capable PC setup. There's also pretty good 18 plus 1 phase power delivery, which essentially means you can comfortably push this motherboard to its limit and beyond, supporting 12th gen Intel processors, you can take advantage of Intel's latest high-performance CPUs, throwing in super-fast PCIe 5.0 M.2 NVMe storage drives and enough RAM, up to 128GB, to run Minecraft without issue. It's possible to use the Z690e gaming Wi-Fi in a premium PC build with an Intel Core i9-12900K. 
making this one good value platform choice. Ports-wise, we're looking at 2.5 gigabits LAN, DisplayPort, HDMI, 1 USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 X2, 3 USB 3.2 Gen 2, 2 USB-A and 1 USB-C, 4 USB-A 3.2 Gen 1, and 4 USB 2.0. There's also optical S, PDIF, Wi-Fi, and all the audio jacks you could require. Internally, S has made sure you have enough headers for additional components that need a USB interface.